The Apple TV is a very capable streamer that has only gotten better over time, with the addition of things like the Siri remote, applications, and a TV guide. Still, the Apple TV is not impervious to problems. Here are five common problems with the Apple TV and how to fix them. Just like with your smartphone, things can go awry with apps on Apple TV. They can sometimes lag or freeze up altogether. If anything like this happens, the best thing to do is to force close the application. To do this on the Siri remote, double press the home or TV button, slide left or right on the touchpad to select that app, and then swipe up to force close it. Sometimes it's more than just one app that's acting funky, or the Apple TV can act glitchy in general, just not right. If this is the case, then you just need to restart the Apple TV. You can do this by going into Settings, System, and selecting Restart, or on the Apple TV remote, you can hold Menu and the TV or Home button until the light on the front of the Apple TV begins blinking. When this happens, release those buttons and the Apple TV will restart. If the Siri remote just randomly stops working or doesn't work at all one day, it may need to be charged. You can charge it using a lightning cable in the port along the bottom edge of the remote. You can actually also check its charge level under remotes and devices in the settings. You may need to use an iPhone or iPad in the remote app to get there. If that doesn't work, you may need to reset the remote and repair it with your Apple TV. To do this, hold the remote near the Apple TV and hold the volume up and menu button for a few seconds and it should repair. Every so often, without explanation, audio on the Apple TV will cut out. Obviously, this depends heavily on what your own sound system setup is, but if it happens to you, try restarting the TV and any audio hardware connected to the Apple TV, such as a soundbar. That should fix the problem, but if not, try restarting the Apple TV. If that doesn't work, go to Settings, Audio and Video, and make sure you've selected the right speakers under Audio Output, and then in Audio Mode, make sure it's set to Auto. If you've installed a lot of applications and games on your Apple TV, storage space might get tight over time. The obvious solution is to remove some of those apps and games. If you do this from the home screen, it's gonna take quite a few steps for every single application you want to remove. Highlight the application on the home screen that you want to remove and long press on the trackpad until it begins to wiggle. Then press the play pause button, select delete, and then select delete again to confirm. If you're trying to remove several applications at once, a faster option is to go to settings, general, and manage storage. There you will find applications sorted by file size in descending order. Click the trash can to the right of any application to remove it, and then click delete to confirm. For more Apple TV tips and tricks and other how-tos, be sure to check out cnet.com forward slash how-to.